the Raspberry Pi 4 kit has been out for a little while now, but for those of you who have never seen it before, or just want to know how to put it together, then this video is for you. We'll take a look at what comes inside the box, how to put it all together, and then running through the setup for the first time. If you don't know what a Raspberry Pi is, it's a small form factor computer that runs off an ARM processor, just like your mobile phone or even a tablet. It can run a Linux or Unix based operating system, but it's not just limited to that, it can run a lot more. The SD card that comes with this kit has noobs pre-installed, so if you're completely new to this, it is a step-by-step -step setup just to run straight through. If you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and leave me a comment down below if you would like to use this Raspberry Pi kit or if you prefer to build your own. Anyway, let's get to it. In front we have the OK Do box. Uh, this is the Get Started kit. It just shows you straight on here also as well that you can go to this web link and it has a step-by-step -step instructions or you can follow this tutorial that I am doing here. So it shows it's the eight gigabyte starter kit. So let's go ahead and open this up. And there we go. It shows you where the micro SD card goes, what the additional ports are on the side, the two HDMI or micro HDMI ports and USB-C power port. And it shows you all the get started stuff on here as well. It shows you what comes inside the box, which is all on here. So we have then the Raspberry Pi shell. So this is where it's going to be set inside. There's a fan inside as well. So that is, and also it comes with a screwdriver, which is quite cool. So that'll be helpful. We then have the actual Raspberry Pi itself. So that's in here. So it says right here, open. So let's go ahead and open that and that's inside here. There we go, we'll have a look at that in a second. And underneath, we have all the additional accessories. So if we have a quick look, so we have what looks like the USB-C power cable. We have an on and off switch here. We have a micro HDMI to HDMI port. So we actually have uh, two of those and it also shows that it's 4k at 60p and they're one meter in length and we have the different regions for the plugs depending on where you are in the world and the actual power adapter here so the USB goes in here and goes into the Raspberry Pi so to get the plug connected you would just pop this on and twist you'll hear the click on there and that's it we're good to go with that and the last thing inside the box is what I would probably think are the heat sinks, I think, and the SD cards. So we have the SD card, we have a USB, and we have the heat sinks, as I mentioned. So let's go ahead and start by installing these and we'll get these set up. So for these heat sinks, I have these lined up like this. Uh, the one on the left here goes just here. This one goes just here, and this one installs on that one just here. So let's go ahead and install those. The way you do that is you just peel this, that's on the back. There you go. That should just peel straight off. And then you want to try and stick that as stenter as possible. There you go. So that's one. We'll then move on to the next one. Same thing again, go ahead and pull that off. And then we want to install this one on here. Again, you need a fairly steady hand for this. And last but not least, the one down here. So now we can bring the case in and we want to mount this on here. So you want the ports facing outwards, so that way. And we just place that on here. And there's a pack of screws that come with it, a little screwdriver that came with it. Okay, so these are the small uh, smaller screws that come with. There is another one that comes with it. I'll show you what the differences are. So you can see that this one just here is the longer one and this is the shorter and fatter one. So this is the one we want. So we'll take that one out. So the four screws are now installed. So if I bring this a little bit closer, you can see uh, the four screws are just here. And then just to show you the side, you've got the two H mini HDMI ports. You've got the USB-C power port. You've got the USBs on the side here along with the Ethernet. So the next thing to actually install is the fan. That one is just here, this fan here. Um, and that's going to go just like this here. So it's at this point here we're going to use the thinner, longer screws. Okay, 
So that's the fan securely installed. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna connect these two over here. So, so the red one is gonna go in the top left. Let's pop that down here. And the one here goes one space across and that one goes in here. So, okay, so make sure they're firmly pressed in. So just to show you that a little bit closer, let's move these out of the way. Um, you can see they're two screwed in and you have the red goes here and the black goes there and they're now all fully connected up. Also within the box there are some um, rubber feet so if you want to pop them on the back here you can do. I'm not going to put them on for now but that's quite easy and simple to do. Then we move on to installing the SD card. So this is the SD card, just flip that and this is what comes with. So it came with a 32 gigabyte SD card. So you can see that goes at the bottom. There you go, just push that in. There we go, that's in. So for this to go on, it just goes here. And there we go, that's all done and on. So there's one screw that needs to go here. So we're just gonna grab that screw, pop that on here. There we go. So that case is now on there and good to go. So the next thing to do, as I showed you earlier, you've got the power connector. So plug that in and pop that into here and get that powered up. And if you wanna connect it to a monitor, you need to connect this in also as well. So there we go. So I'm now gonna go off and power this up and get it connected up and I'll show you what comes up on the screen. So once your Raspberry Pi is booted up, you're able to install um, Raspbian Full. So that comes with a full desktop. So you just double click on that and click, or you just click on that and you click install. And yes, we want to install this operating system. So we click yes, and there we go. So we're just gonna let that go off and install. Okay, now that's complete, we click OK. And we let the machine boot up. So let's just give that a second. Okay, so this is a bit small, but um, we just click Next. So it's got the IP address at the bottom here. Uh, just click Next, click Next. Uh, it's gonna get you to set up a password. Click next again, click next. It's now searching for Wi-Fi networks, which we don't need because we've got an ethernet cable plugged in, so we skip that. Uh, we'll skip the software update for now. And there we go, the setup is now complete. So you now have a full working desktop. I really hope you found this video useful and remember to hit that like button and leave me a comment down below. If you want to see something like this or something similar, again, let me know in the comments below. The Raspberry Pi kit itself is really good for any first timers. It comes with everything all included. So it's really easy to set up and do what you need to do. All the products are linked in the description below. They are linked to my Amazon affiliate account. So feel free to check them out. And if you use them, it does help me out to bring you more product reviews. For now, this is Inside Wire and I'll see you in the next one.